it is Sunday, so it is time for Scraplift Crafternoon. Let me show you the layout real quick. It's by Gloria Scraps on Instagram. Um, I think Kimberly found this one. And what she has, and she's got a little setup here, so the stuff behind her is not on the layout. But what she has is this travel-themed layout here where she's got, like, clouds behind her. And she's got these three horizontal strips, and so there's three pictures. And she's built little clusters, you know, along each little horizontal thing. So, like, little mini layouts. And just kind of built, like, yeah, little, little but I'm so, anyways, that's what she's got going on. So, what I have is, I did actually have the Vicki Bootens uh, Where To Next cloud paper. Now, these are going to be a little different color scheme, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to mount it on white cardstock, though, because this is really thin. I don't know why that would be, unless I bought it some kind of way. I don't know where I got that now. Oh, I ordered that online. I don't know why that's so thin. Maybe it's normally thin. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to trim that down just to mount on that white cardstock. And then I have, similarly, this lady, um, she has, you know, like dark gray with the destinations and stuff. Well, my Just Plain Fun here has yellow. So, I'm going to use yellow. And hopefully this works out. <laughs> and then I'm going to build my little deals. And I haven't printed my pictures yet, so I'm going to have to show you all in a minute. But it's basically, there's three pictures of us at the airport heading to Nashville, Tennessee, in 2021 for our Christmas vacation. And then I also have all these little like ephemera pieces from this collection and some tags and stuff. So I think I can make this work. I haven't dug into this just to build the clusters per se, but I'm certain I have those. Now she's got a few frames, I think. I may end up getting into my frames. Um, I have a bunch of like hip kit frames and I'll dig into that and see if I need those. But let me get my pictures, pr pictures printed and this trimmed down and I'll be back on in a second. Okay, you guys, so I have trimmed down that little cloud paper by a half inch, um, and I'm going to scuff the edges. I don't actually think she scuffed them on hers, although she did scuff the edges of the little stripes, but I managed to tear the edge of one of mine, so I had to do something to make it look okay. So um, I scuffed the edges of the clouds, and now I'm going to cut, scuff basically three sides of each of these little yellow strips so that when I set them down, um, I let the, the straight edge kind of tuck I hate to, how to explain this, kind of tuck into the t the scuffed part so it kind of like, it didn't show up as, I didn't want to double scuff, I guess is the word I'm trying to say here. So I'm going to scuff the edges of my yellow strips here. And I did cut those down, by the way, by, uh, by an inch. So they're now 11 inches. So uh, because, you know, you I, I scooch them one way to the other side. And y'all, I'm not going to lie, this layout turned out really cute. <laughs> I don't know what it is about either grid layouts or like, um, where I'm able to make like little baby layout, like little baby clusters that don't really have to be, I don't know how to explain it, but to me, like little baby tiny sections where I'm kind of putting embellishments and stuff together by them to them to themselves seems to be something I'm able to like not mental block about if that makes any sense at all. And I'm, I'm, I'm rambling and I'm using a bunch of words that I don't even know if it makes sense, but for whatever reason, grid layouts, these kinds of little um, circles, this kind of thing here, because I'm basically building it on three little strips here. It just works for my brain. Um, so what I've done is I got my three pictures. I did mount them on white card socks so they'd kind of stand out. And I've just kind of put them, you know, the top one is, and I'll just kind of tell you guys. So I, I think I said this, but we're at the airport. We're heading to Nashville. So a few years ago, um, well, it was the impetus behind it was a little bit sad. My, my husband's parents passed away. And he just struggles to celebrate. He doesn't have a big, we don't, we don't have a big family. And so for him, when he lost his parents, it's like he doesn't really have any other family. I mean, obviously my family is his family, but it's also not his family, if that makes sense. And so for him, Christmas was just a real difficult time. So we started a couple, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago, um, going on trips at Christmas. So my family, we usually spend, you know, either before, usually before we go, we'll spend, you know, the time with my family. But then we go on vacation, so we're usually gone um, sometime before Christmas Eve, all the way, you know, past Christmas. And we usually come back and mm, maybe just before New Year's, but we're gone the week of Christmas, essentially. And we've been to Costa Rica. We went to Nashville. We've been to DC. So we, we do different things. So this was our Nashville trip. This was 2021. And you'll see, we actually have masks, um, because the airport still had that manda mandate, you know, my daughter now, she's a bit of a rebel. She'd wander around without it on and just dare somebody to tell her to put it on. But I was just like, okay. She's in her early 20s. You know how kids are. So anyways, um, this is us at the airport. Honestly, just a bunch of silly little selfies or whatever. And I mean, I took one of them kind of walking um, to the gate or whatever. And frankly, they're always ahead of me, y'all. I have pictures from DC where they're just literally, they're just always ahead of me. They, she's tall. My daughter's tall, right? So she's like 5'11". Her legs are 
ginormously long and she walks quickly and my husband just walks quickly and I'm on the back side of it. It's not like I'm short, but I'm also not as tall as they are. So my legs, we went to where I forget if we were in New York or DC, but my, my daughter and I pulled up, we looked at our garments. We had the exact same distance. I think it was like 11.1 miles or 11.2 miles. And I had 2000 more steps y'all. 2,000 more steps. What does that tell you? My feet have to move faster than theirs just to get to the same place. So anyways, I don't know how come I said all that. But anyway, at this point, I've been building these clusters, y'all, if you've been watching. I've been just, I, t I dumped all my ephemera out, basically, and I'm building just these little clusters. I did not end up getting into my frames. I thought about it. Um, but honestly, by the time I got my little clusters and stuff here, I was like, no, I don't even need any extra frames. I did decide to use some little round circle uh, tags as bases for a couple of the clusters. So in the upper right one, you can see I have a little green circle and I put the little plane and the little um, tickety looking thing on top of that. And I will actually get some string out in just a minute. I'll, I actually kind of got excited about that. I, I pulled string out because I got that green one up there and then I have a pink circle that's going to go, uh, it's laying on the left hand side over there, but I'm going to end up putting that behind that red suitcase and those two little pennants. Now, if y'all been watching me the last few days, I had another layout I did. I pulled those little pennants out and I really wanted to use them and I couldn't figure out a way, but I used them on this layout. It worked out perfectly. Um, I've got the vacation one, but vacation one's going to be down there on the bottom photo. And then I've got those other two little pennants that are kind of hanging off that suitcase. But like I said, I'll put this round pink piece behind the suitcase and those two things just to kind of add a little, um, like a, you know, like a grounding element there. So I will end up pulling string out and adding those to those little tags, but that's basically where everything's going to go. So you'll see the string in just a second. So I don't make you watch me glue everything down. So now you can see where I've added the little strings and I've got everything glued down. I did put foam up underneath the girl on the left, the red suitcase. The title of course is this is just plain fun. Uh, wheels up has got foam underneath it and the airplane that's taken off has got foam underneath it. Now here's where I'm kind of taking the little enamel dots that come with a collection and I'm setting them around. Now the one on the top, I end up sitting initially, well, I move, I move them uh, because the ones in the middle I had, I didn't want them all above each other, if that makes sense. So I'm going to end up shifting some stuff around here because I, I stuck them there because I thought, well, that's kind of where those go. But then I've got them right above the other on the bottom and I go, I don't like that. So I'm going to move those over to the right, and then I'll move these that are on the right over to the left. Um, I'm trying to create like a little zigzag, you know, with the visuals. So that's basically how it's going to look. I'm going to pull the Nouveau glue out and use that on the enamel dots, but that is how that looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's the slowdown. Make sure you check out the playlist. I think uh, Miss Karen's on vacation this week, but everybody else should be playing along. So make sure you check out the playlist, and don't forget to do the like and subscribe, and... I should still be having content the rest of the month because I got the 30 days of sketches going on. So y'all uh, hit the little bell for the notification and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.